All right, uh, let's play with the new counter. Let's use it. Um, I noticed that my um, 33120 was off in frequency a bit. Uh, it's measuring a, a little bit off. Two hertz off? No, two kilohertz. Oh, 0 0.002. So it's pretty close, right? <laughs> but hey, this thing's got a lot of digits, right? So it should be better than that. And there is a calibration routine. So you'd think you have to go in the back and tweak the little uh, oscillator and stuff. No, 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 no. That's old school. So let's see if we can't do this thing. I printed out the cal, cal procedure. So let's see if we can't go into the menu, cal menu, secured. So once we get to secured, I think we go down and we have to enter the code. And the code is, ooh, let's see here. Uh, The code is three, oops, under number, three, three, one, two, zero. Uh, I don't think, I, I think I don't think I'm doing that right. Entered. Uh, oh, okay. I think we're in calibration mode now. I think, hmm, maybe not. No, we're not in calibration mode. I think I messed this up. Menus. All right. I don't know how to do this. All right, so I, follow, I should follow the thing here. Let's see here. Let's follow the instructions. Cal menu, down, unsecured, down. Now it's asking for the code. Okay. And we're supposed to be we're supposed to put in HP33120. So how do we do this? Ah. Oh. How do we do this? With a wheel? Let's see here. To secure to uh enter the code using the buttons. Three. See, it's not doing anything. Unsecure. The security code is set to HP. To enter the security code, enter only the six digits, which is the 331, oh, 0, 033120. 0, but it's not showing on the screen. Move to, oh, okay, we're here. Now it says go down. Okay. Zero. Hmm. Three, three, one, twenty. No, it's not working. The security code. To enter the security code from the front panel, enter only the six digits. To enter the security code from, oh, 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 to re-enter, move down to the parameters. We did that. Now we're supposed to be able to just type in the security code. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Zero, three, three, one, two, zero. It's not working. Enter number? No. Three, three. This is not working. Zero, three, three. Oh, oh, zero, three. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is a pain. Zero, three, one, two. Zero, three, three, one, two, zero. Okay. Then what? Do I hit enter? What do I do? Enter. Saving. Entered. Okay, so, okay, then we can go to Cal menu and it's still secured. Oh man.
Okay. Oh, that doesn't look right. Okay. Enter. Enter number. I just did that. Three, three, one, two, zero. Entered. Oh, damn it. Oh, okay, it says unsecured. Okay, we're unsecured. <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, so now we can do other things. We can calibrate. All right, setup zero. Okay, fine. Setup zero, zero. I have to read my manual here. All right, I think we hit enter. Ah, there we go. And it's outputting what it thinks is one kilohertz, and this is what we're measuring, okay? So we have to enter the number that we see over here. Zero. Can I enter things? Can I do it with a wheel? No. I'm not able to change things. Change the value, move the flashing cursor over to the... Are we getting a flashing cursor? Calibrating. Ah, so we didn't want to calibrate. We didn't want to do that. Uh, zero, zero. Enter. All right. So we want to enter the number. Okay, I think we're better now. We go went down. Now we can go over. No. We're not able to change anything. How come? Menu bottom. Menu bottom. Okay, we're supposed to be able to change the number now. I can't change that to a zero because I want to enter that number. Maybe we can change it from here. No, won't let me change that either. Hmm. Oh, I'm able to change it there. So now maybe I can come over here. Can I change that one? No. Nope. Can I change this one? No. Nope. Maybe I can just go down. Ah, there we go. I'll just go down over here. Jeez, this thing's complicated. Nine, nine, seven. Seven. I'm watching the numbers over here now. I'd say it's seven, eight. Oh, 
well, seven, seven, I guess we can be even farther. Seven, seven, nine. Seven, seven, nine. It's rattling around. Let's just put in seven, seven, nine, zero and see what happens. Enter number. I did something wrong. Ah, damn it. Nine, nine, here we go. Nine, nine, shit. <laughs> nine, nine, nine. Nine, nine, nine. Seven. Seven. Seven, seven, eight, zero. I don't know. And then it says, enter. You hit enter. Oh, maybe you have to go all the way over to here and then say enter. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Got it. Calibrating. Oh. Okay. And then we can exit out of here. And oh, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, much better. Much, much better. Well, that was non-intuitive, say the least. My goodness. All right, let's uh, frequency enter number one megahertz. Very, very nice. It's pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty close. I don't know why it's bumping around a bit, but it's pretty close. All right, and let's do uh, 100. All right. I'd say it's good. I like the frequency better now. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to calibrate everything else. I was really only worried about the uh, really only worried about the frequency because it was a bit off. So the other thing that I noticed on this thing, since we're here, there is a in the cal section. There is a we we should secure that again. Uh, there is a calibration count. So this thing has been calibrated 96 times ahead of me. Well, I guess maybe it, may it counted mine, 95 times ahead of me. So yeah, they were calibrating this thing quite a bit. So maybe every single time, maybe every month they calibrated it or every week they calibrated it. I'm not sure how long this thing was in service before I got it, but yeah, interesting. All right. Let's get out of here. And uh, yeah, enter number of one kilohertz. Yeah, let's bump this down a bit so it doesn't bounce around as much. Look at that. It does bounce around. I'm on the sync pulse too, which I would think would be better, but no, nah, just bounces around. Put the filter on. Do we have? Oh, we have. We do have the filter on. Let's load it to 50 ohms. Maybe that help a bit. Let's take the filter off. Yeah, just bounces around. Anyway, if uh, people have uh, calibrated their 33120 and uh, maybe know some tricks that I don't, let me know in the comment section. But uh, uh, 
I like it better now. It is uh, doing more of what I expect it to be doing. Yep, very nice. 